Arnold is now his partner, but the English players are very distressed when he is struck on the head, Larwood again being the unlucky bowler. Ah, Larwood ball him at the wicket, not his head. The ball was slower off the wicket than he, he had anticipated, and it hit him on the wrong side of the head. He looked too early. Now, Bert and I were friends, always have been friends, and I ran down the wicket and I said, I'm sorry, Bert. This is not your fault, Harold. And then he collapsed unconscious. Bill Woodfall went out to the ground. He uh, came back with Bertie, and I passed him on the way down. The whole of the, of the Adelaide ground was in an uproar. I think they were very afraid then that they were afraid that the, that the crowd might come over. And Gabby told me once that Jardine had, as it were, issued battle orders. And he'd said to Gabby, he said, if it does happen, he said, you take one stump. And he said, you're in so far as you can to defend a bill. And he said, I'll take the other. And he said, I'll go off with Harold. Adelaide authorities were rightly very, very worried indeed. The combination of poverty, unemployment, and this imperialist ungentlemanly English swine coming and knocking our heads off. The combination was, was lethal. The Australian Board of Control hurriedly composed and dispatched a cable of protest to the MCC at Lords. Body line bowling assumes such proportions as to menace best interests of game, making protection of body by batsmen the main consideration, causing intensely bitter feelings between players as well as injury. In our opinion, it is unsportsmanlike, unless stopped at once, likely to upset the friendly relations existing between Australia and England. Then to say that they consider the behaviour as unsportsmanlike, to say that to Lord Lewisham, Viscount Hailsham, the Lord Chancellor, the Lord Mayor of London and others, and this, they had to be scraped off the wall. And so no wonder these people thought, these Colonials can't call us unsportsmen like well, no, no. The MCC cabled their response. We at the Marleybone Cricket Club deplore your cable. We deprecate your opinion that there has been unsportsmanlike play. We have the fullest confidence in captain, team and managers and are convinced that they would do nothing to infringe either the laws of cricket or the spirit of the game. We have no evidence that our confidence is misplaced. We hope the situation is not now as serious as your cable appears to indicate. But if it is such as to jeopardise the good relations between England and Australian cricketers, and you consider it desirable to cancel remainder of programme, we would consent, but with great reluctance. Is not deterred, however, and O'Reilly is another quick victim. Bose makes a magnificent catch in the slips, which sends Grimmett back for ten. When Ward is bowled, the Australian innings closes for 222 runs, 119 behind England's total, and England eventually win one of the most sensational cricket matches ever played by 338 runs.